And now, the conclusion. In the video that I last made discussing the pedophilia issue here, I talked about the other side of the coin, as it were. What pedophiles should do in order to further their end of this discussion and work towards preventing child molestation. And then I left off by noting that I would talk about the consequences of the wrong-headed approach to solving this issue. Some of you out there may have heard of a YouTube user called BadCop69. At one point, this was a person who was fully against the idea of pedophiles being not child molesters. He was one of the people who, as far as I'm aware, did not recognize the distinction and called out for them to be locked up. He since changed his opinion, right? That can happen. You know, he found out that a lot of what I have said is true here. Not me, I didn't cause this, but he's found out that points that have been made by me and many others about this issue, the distinction that I've talked about, that these things exist and that they are real. And he since turned around and did a series of videos talking about these truths. Much better than my own video, I must say. At the very least, put a lot more effort in, right? Hours. I have barely t touched on the issue, wherein he has explored it in depth. Now, who is caught up in this wrong-headed approach? The innocent. And this is a case of where this happens. To start this off, Bad Cop shared his story with me so that I could share it with you all and use it to talk about this issue. And first off, I want to thank him for allowing me to do this. Quite brave. Secondly, I want to say that everybody listening, please listen carefully to this tale. Because this is the exact consequence that I talk about when I say that there are bad consequences to the approach that I derided in the first video. Now, Bad Cop is a single father taking care of a child, working the best he can to do so. He's not working the most glamorous jobs, and he says, he, you know, he's working minimum wage jobs, but he's supporting his child, right? And that is what matters. And I'm going to just speculate here, but to pass the time and perhaps elucidate for people various issues, he's made videos about things. And one of the things, as I noted, he made a video series about was pedophilia. Now note that this guy's not a pedophile, and as I noted, there was a point where he was against pedophiles calling them all child molesters, basically. Now, his opinion since changed, but I think it's fair to say that he's probably not a pedophile, right? We can establish this. So, the fact that the story even goes his direction is pretty sad, but it gets worse. For you see, he was having issues with his child at school. And what I mean by that is that the school was basically having issues with his child. And it came back and forth, back and forth from what I understand, with various disciplinings and talks from the school and everything, and a general attitude that something was wrong but never quite cluing him in. And yet people were coming down on him and things were getting bad. But why, right? What was the cause to this? Well, it turns out that someone, and it, he notes the school, told CPS, Child Protective Services, about his videos and had sent them a sample of them. And so the school knew about the videos, and based on what he was telling me, it seems like they were acting out against the child because of this. That is at least my take on what he has said. And then it gets to the head of Child Protective Services comes to his house and begins an investigation, right? They had come to his house and begin an investigation because of a YouTube series of videos. That's what happened. <laughs> and mind you, these videos weren't molestations great or that we just need to not protect children. No, he was talking about the truth of the distinctions that I have myself have talked about and others have talked about. Trying to elucidate this nebulous, perhaps, distinction that exists and trying to make it clear so everyone can understand what's going on, why this issue exists, how we need to deal with it, and the facts behind it. Because he made a series of videos attempting to explain things, Child Protective Services shows up at his house. This is wrong. This is where an innocent person has become a victim of a crusade, is when that happens. Because, as he himself notes, after this investigation happened, which took over a week, but ended up, of course, with, we can do nothing to you, because you didn't do anything wrong at all. So the investigation goes away, but... You were just investigated by Child Protective Services. People are throwing around terms like pedophilia. You have a child. His family is in distress. His child can, has been pulled out of school. 
do to this. He has to homeschool his child till he goes to middle school. And his own personal life has had severe issues as well because of this. That is not fair. That is not right. Repeat it after me. That is not just. When a child molester faces investigation and punishment, that is justice. When someone who is not even a pedophile faces the scrutiny of the law, the full scrutiny, the consequences therein for doing nothing wrong, that is not justice. What's even worse is this idea that because he defends pedophiles, he must be one. That is what's really the bad element here, the tragedy of this discussion that comes from this witch hunt, is that anyone who dares to speak out against this holy crusade to destroy the evil gets tarred and feathered with the evil. That, well, you're defending them, you must be one. Which, not only is that the logical fallacy of guilt by association, but, worst of all, it takes people who have done nothing wrong and it ruins their lives. Like, I'm not going to say bad cop's life is ruined, because anyone can recover from traumatic events and terrible things, but there was no need for him to go through this from start to finish. No one was protected, nor was anyone even in danger to begin with. Yet, not only was money wasted on a more than a week-long Child Protective Services investigation, which requires manpower, resources, and money, specifically, your money, as a taxpayer, was paid to investigate someone who was clearly innocent, who had done nothing wrong, and to upteave their entire life. That's what the money went to. And, you know, you might be saying, well, this is a biased version of the events. You just heard this from Bad Cop, right? Well, that isn't important. That doesn't matter. Not really, because the core issues here were he was investigated for something he did not do for something that there was no evidence to show that he had done or was even thinking about doing or was even related to. So maybe it was biased, maybe it wasn't. I tend to think it wasn't, but that isn't the issue here. Even if you want to utterly deny that this happened to him altogether, you cannot deny that this happens, where people are tarred and feathered with this demonization called pedophilia when they just try to stand up and say, well, wait, not everyone's like this, or wait, not every pedophile is a devious, evil person. I mean, I've gotten it directed at me. Not nearly as bad as the bad cop story I just shared at you, but it has been directed at me, too, where people say, you must be a pedophile or whatnot. And that's just wrong-headed. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm offended you're calling me that, because that's not the important issue. It's wrong-headed because it makes people investigate the wrong people. It takes attention away from victims and molesters and takes it to anyone that it disagrees with us. And that is not how we're going to protect children. That's not how we're going to solve this problem, is with a witch hunt or, or by attacking anyone that disagrees with this idea. The only way we're going to get a solution is by having a conversation that doesn't include immediate persecution or that doesn't include immediate judgment based on non-action. Now, you can hate pedophiles. I'm not going to tell you that your personal judgments here are something in question. If you're going to hate pedophiles, you're going to. And that's fine. The thing is, I'm talking about someone who was not a pedophile. And that's something you need to keep in mind here when you throw out this hatred and vitriol that you have for this group. When you allow that to act for you and speak for you, you could catch somebody like Bad Cop 69 in the midst of your hatred and well, the innocent and the guilty alike are then flooded away because hatred is blind. Once you're convinced that you are on the right track and you let your hatred lead you in this, or in anything, you will become blind to the nuances and distinctions therein. It's easy then to just hate all of this group no matter what because, well, they're all whatever you want them to be now that you've just decided you hate them. Like I said, it's fine to hate pedophiles if that is your personal opinion. It is not okay to allow that hatred to carry you on a quest to destroy the guilty and the innocent alike. Take a step back from your hatred if you are caught up in it. And understand that not everybody caught up in it deserves it. There are innocent people who do just stand up for pedophiles, for non-offending pedophiles in specific. And that to catch them up in your hatred is wrong. It is unjust and it taints your cause. It taints it by including the blood of the innocent into it. When you have stopped being a person questing for justice and you start being a person questing for retribution, well, you've lost justice. This story, I hope, serves as 
a reminder of why this can never be allowed to happen, that you cannot lose justice, that you cannot allow hatred to overwhelm reason, because you yourself might one day be responsible for someone like Bad Cop 69's bad life when he did nothing wrong. Pedophilia and child molestation are important issues, but isn't that also wrong, that action? Just because you want to protect children from harm, children are innocent, right? But that, they're not the only group of people that are innocent. Anyone who has not committed a crime is innocent. And to say that we need to protect children at the cost of the other innocent people is wrong. It's wrong. You are protecting not just children, but all of the innocent people. That must be our prerogative here. We can't protect just one group of innocent people. We need to protect all of the innocent people. Now, if you want more details on Bad Cop 69, I suggest you check out his channel, check out the series on pedophilia, perhaps see if you can find out why he deserved to have the police called and CPS called on him for those videos. Just something to think about.